Today I'm doing a video on how to apply false eyelashes. They're a bit tricky, so I thought I'd do a video. Um, so I've got two sets of eyelashes today. I've got um, the NYX Fabulous Lashes in Exclusive. Exclusive. Um, and I've also got 1000 Hour Lashes. I think they're ebony black, but I threw out the packaging, so I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm going to be using, normally I'd use the Revlon Precision Adhesive because I think that glue is so much better than the mini glues because the mini glues sometimes if you wear them halfway through the night your eyelashes will start to come up on the ends and um, also the first time I applied false eyelashes um, it took me like 40 minutes because I'm a bit uncoordinated and um, I used about half a bottle of the mini glue so it's so much better to just go out and spend the, I think it's ten dollars on the red one glue. Also, the lids are horrible. Like this one, um, it's the NYX one. For the life of me, I cannot get the lid back on the glue, and I've just opened it. So I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, but definitely, if you are going to use the mini glues, the glue in the one thousand hour ones is so much better um, because. They are a wand instead of a tube, so you can actually, you know, get the glue and paint it on. Whereas with the tube, you've got to like put it on the back of your hand, get some tweezers, get the glue on the tweezers, get them on the lashes. So it's like a four-step process as opposed to like one. Um, also, the NYX is the one with the really, really bad lid. And um, another downside to these ones is sometimes the glue will get stuck around the edges and it will actually like seal up. So you really got to tug the lids off. So yeah, just go out and buy the Revlon one. So much better. But I will use the mini glues in the tutorial today. Okay, so first of all, some differences in the two different lashes. So the NYX ones I got online at Candy Cosmetics. I don't think you can get them in, I think, a couple of stores in Australia stock them. I don't know anywhere that does. But yeah, Tandy Cosmetics, I got them... Um, I think they were six ninety five, um, and my one thousand hour ones. You can get these from Priceline. I think Target may stock them. Um, they're seven ninety five. I haven't used the NYX ones yet, but they're the ones I'll be applying today. Um, big difference is the packaging. I much prefer the NYX packaging because the one thousand hour ones. It came in like a packaging slip. And you had to cut it open and then you couldn't really put it back in to that, like it's not something you can keep. Um, whereas the NYX one, it comes both with a cardboard packaging, so you can keep the cardboard package, and also it comes in like a little plastic casing. Um, so it's like plastic on top, and that will help keep your lashes clean as well, because they're free of everything. Whereas my other ones, I don't have anything to put them in. Yeah, so that is the next one. So yeah, I much prefer the next packaging. Okay, so some basic um, things before we start. You don't want to have any eye makeup on yet um, because I find that the glue doesn't stick properly if you've got too much makeup. So I generally do my eyeliner and all that kind of stuff later. Um, Okay, so let's get started. So you'll need a pair of tweezers. Um, and all you do is, starting from the outer corner, you just gently um, lift them up. So it will be a bit sticky against the, um, the casing. So that's all right. You just gently pull them. Make sure that you are pulling from the lash line and not from the lashes there, because you might pull some lashes off the lash line. Alright, um, also just looking at the packaging. Um, so before you start just line them up to your eyes like that and they correspond to whichever eye. So like this one here would be for my right eye and this one here would be for my left eye. Okay, so anyway once you've pulled them off grab either end like that and you want to make like a bit of a U shape. 
Um, so this will just help curve them a little bit so that they stick, like, go with your eye more naturally rather than just straight across. So just do that for like 10 seconds. All right, so the next step, grab the lashes, like that with your finger, then grab your glue. I'm actually gonna use the glue from the 1000 hour because I really don't like the NYX one and I don't like having to do the whole you know, back of the hand glue sort of thing. So I'm just gonna use the tube wand applicator Okay, so all you do is, I don't know how good my camera is going to pick this up, but, so you just grab your lashes and then just do a little coating of the glue just on the lash line. You don't want to get it on the lashes because once it dries, it may snap some of the lashes off. So just along the black lash band. And I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, comes up a little bit. Um, so you can see where I've put that white there. Um, I usually go over it once and then just go over the ends again because the ends are the bits that will come off first, especially with the mini glue. And then once you've put the um, glue on, you want to... Just let it dry for like 20 seconds because if you don't let it dry it's just going to go on and um, will come off straight away because it won't be like sticky yet. Alright, so we'll leave that for about 10 seconds. Okay, so that's probably good enough now. You can see it just starting to dry a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it like slowly drying, getting clear. Anyway, um, so next I just grab a hand mirror because it's a bit easy to see. But um, you can just do it in the bathroom mirror. I've done that before. Anyway, so all you do is grab the lashes and you want to line it up with the center of your eye first. So just right in the center. And then you want to push the outer corners in. And just try and get it as close to your lash line as possible. And then just really stick it into place. Even if it means, oh, my hand's over. I hope you can see that. Anyway, so yeah, the inner corner is the bit that you always have to watch. That's the one that wants to come up first. You can see it still hasn't stuck down. That might just be because it's that bad glue. Now you'll probably have like a tiny little line in between your actual lash line and the false lashes. Um, but don't worry about that because you can just cover it up with eyeliner and people just think you have thick eyeliner on. So you can see there's just that little bit of skin there. So some people will say, you know, put your eyeliner on first, but I prefer just going over that later with eyeliner because, um, yeah, it messes with the glue. So that's all you do. Um, so it doesn't look very great now because I haven't put any makeup on around it. But I'll go and put some makeup on, put the other eyelashes on, and then come back to the center. And then you want to push the outer corners in. And just try and get it as close to your lash line as possible. And then just really stick it into place. Even if it means, oh, my hand's over. I hope you can see that. Anyway. So yeah, the inner corner is the bit that you always have to watch. That's the one that wants to come up first. 
You can see it still hasn't sat down. That might just be because it's that bad glue. Now you'll probably have like a tiny little line in between your actual lash line and the false lashes. Um, but don't worry about that because you can just cover it up with eyeliner and people just think you have thick eyeliner on. So you can see there's just that little bit of skin there. So some people will say, you know, put your eyeliner on first, but I prefer just going over that later with eyeliner because, um, yeah, it messes with the glue. So that's all you do. Um, so it doesn't look very great now because I haven't put any makeup on around it. But I'll go and put some makeup on, put the other eyelashes on, and then come back and show you. Okay, so here are the lashes with makeup on. Um, they're certainly longer than I thought they would be. Um, they're not as natural as the 1000 hour ones. Just to talk about maintenance of the eyelashes, um, I normally clean mine after every use, um, just the same as I would clean my makeup brushes. So I just get some warm water, a tiny, like, tiny little dab of um, shampoo, and get my tweezers, just give them a bit of a soak, um, and then let them dry in their packaging. Um, and then that helps them keep the shape as well. The curvy. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm going to be posting another video today about how to do the fishtail braid that I'm wearing. Um, and I'll also be reviewing a lot of the makeup I'm wearing at the moment. So keep an eye out for that and thanks for watching guys.